Okay, great. This poem is called The Great Dictator. I'm going to begin in the name of God. Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rabbi shahri sadri wa yastirli amri wa ahlul uqtatim li sani yafqahu qawli. I begin in, um, by saying the dua of Musa alayhi salam when he was told to face Pharaoh. And um, Allah blessed him. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim It is as if the world has disappeared. A circumstance beyond my control. Strong men have been brought to their knees, whilst their hands desperately search through trash cans, for there is no room for shame left in survival. I see. Diseased bodies lying upon street corners, coughing their babies to sleep, whose bony frames are cradled in cardboard boxes, veiled beneath the dark shadows of surveillance. Smile, big brother is watching you. I see the beginning of an end, ignited by the flick of a switch that calls obedience to a vengeful madman blinded by greed chasing moby whales in blue blue seas he is the embodiment of the famine of the soul starvation has led him to cannibalize the weak he lives in his own dog eat dog world defined in a psychological dsm manual as a malignant narcissistic psychopath whom thrives in a world that defeated him sold is he to himself for he is truly the best of salesmen and even walled streets cannot block his transactions you see blind submission Inhibits the dark foe of idolatry. I will repeat, blind submission inhibits the dark foe of idolatry. Symbolized by the definition of obedience to an unquestionable authority, it took just one man to rise to power and a whole nation fell at his feet. He is a dictator elected by the people for the people, the people, oh, the people who were romanticized by the yearnings of a weak will who grasp at the possibility of the richness of material rather than the reality of poverty. And behold is the calamity of the poor soul whose only wealth is money. This man his influence wraps plagues within flowers and deception infests upon his hollow staff. But make no mistake, he is no prophet. This man who walks upon iced oceans, frozen from the coldness of his heart. And he claims, oh, he claims he walks on water. This man who plays a game where the only winner who wins is the one who plays everyone else. With a scrupulous attempt to ransack hope and reinstate fear in a country, in a country, in a country that once symbolized freedom. But even then, these bricks, they were molded together by the blood and the bones of the slaves and the natives, giving clue to exactly how this country was made. We have gone back to roots, building walls instead of bridges, coincidental to the unjust victimization of minorities. But despite this, Despite all of this, we will not go gentle into that good night. We will rage, rage against the dying of the light. That good night, which is enveloped in the dark cover of tyranny, brutal to the blind heart that discerns nothing but gaping black holes wrapped in white robes with pointed hats that deliver death 
leading to the absence of their own soul. Enshrouded in corrupt systems, human, they are no more. But this same night, it manifests stars that shine so bright. And with every turning of this earth, we will rise. And you will keep seeing as especially on the darkest of nights. And one star can light up a whole world. But many, they can light up a whole universe. Because you see, the collective will of the whole will always, always be stronger than one man's diabolical stance. We live in this city of the damned. And lost is the woman and the man whose will is orientated towards the self. And distraction leads them to fail to seek the advantage of God, making them at a disadvantage. And found is the woman and the man who is aggrieved, for indeed there is no veil between the prayer of the oppressed slave and their Lord. You see, our fall is an empire that is not our failure. Because you see, our context of living was never in this world. We live with heaven in our hearts and bismillah in the name of Allah upon our tongues. They may have our bodies, but they will never, never possess our souls. And even the devil could not take me without my permission. You see, everything that this country has taken in material, it can be replaced. But one thing that cannot, my family, is faith. And let me tell you something. If kings knew, if kings knew the peace that we felt in our hearts, they would no longer fight wars for silver and gold. They would fight for just a moment's hold of the tranquility within the believer's soul. Taste these sweet, sweet words which reverberate over the lost tongue of humanity. We carry the very marks of the earth that they slapped across our frontal temples in which rests a sacred submission which is never swayed in a vessel of a body that prays five times a day. In a cover contained is the conviction of the manifestation of this very faith and buried we are seeds that grow from the freshly six feet deep turned soil and the very pains of tyranny, the very pains of tyranny have given birth to the very consciousness that they try to destroy and we live and we will keep living. And with every villain, there is a hero. And don't forget about the one who said, Rabbi Shahri Sadri, who asked his Lord to expand his chest so he could speak up against the greatest of tyrants in history, a dictator who tried to kill his own destiny by murdering the firstborn children of Israel. And it was God, it was God who put that very same adversary under his own roof. And there too was Pharaoh defeated by Moses. The same way a fire cooled, forbidden to harm the close friend of God. And who is the greatest of friends except the Lord of the seven heavens and the earth and every single thing between whose decree is timed perfectly and written is a victory that will be ours. Oh, it will be ours, my family, inevitably. But in order to rise, first, we need to fall. And it is not how we fall, but it is how we rise again that defines us. You know, it's as if this world has reappeared. A circumstance within my control. Strong men have been brought to their knees whilst their hands no longer desperately search for sanctity. Strong men have been brought to their knees, grounded in prostration, and no longer is he enslaved to the whip of the merciless reign of a weak, weak man. And we live. 
and we will keep living. And remember, with every villain, there is a... Louder? There is a hero. Thank you. Zakhlahed. One last thing, if you guys want to um, follow us on Facebook, just type in the Strangers Org, and if you see me around, inshallah, definitely um, ask more about the project. May Allah reward you all and accept um, all the good we do. Forgive us for all of our bad and give us strength in these times. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.